Hello friends, in this video lecture, we are going to discuss the transient stability of the power system. So let us begin. Let us discuss the transient stability of the power system. In earlier lecture, we have discussed the steady state stability of the power system. Okay. So we know that a synchronous machine connected to infinite bus will have a swing equation as m into d square delta by dt square is equal to that accelerating power which is nothing but pm minus pe when it is acting as an alternator okay again the electrical power in case of an if it is acting as an alternator delivered at the receiving end is given by this formula called p is equal to p max sine delta okay so here we can write this uh, swing equation as m into d square delta by dt square is equal to pm minus p max sin delta okay this is the swing equation for the synchronous machine okay now you see when this system is subjected to the small disturbances small disturbances means it is the steady state stability studies okay so for the small disturbances we have obtained a criteria to check whether the system is stable or not and that criteria it was the differentiation of the electrical power with respect to this rotor angle it should be a positive value or it should be greater than zero or else the rotor angle should be greater than zero and it should be less than 90 degree for the system to have the steady state stability or if the system is following a small disturbances it will be stable if it follows this condition okay now as similar to the small disturbances we may have the large disturbances in the system okay so if the system is following the large disturbances then the system is said to be stable if it is having the transient stability now as in case of a small disturbances we have got this characterized criteria to decide the system is stable or not but in case of large disturbances or in case of a transient stability we don't have any generalized criteria okay so here the main problem is we are not having a generalized criteria to decide whether the system is stable or not following the large disturbances okay so practically what is done for understanding this transient stability or to understand the consequence of the large disturbances in the system that is after following the large disturbances whether the system will regain to original operating condition or it will regain the equilibrium or not to do that what is done practically the list of the large disturbances are prepared okay along with the possible location of occurrence of those large disturbances it is done with the help of the uh, experience and expertise and the judgment of the power system analyst where we are starting for the no, transient stability first prepare the list of the large disturbances okay list of large disturbances along with probable location of the large disturbance okay and this is done by the power system analyst now once you get this list the next thing is what we have to do is we have to solve this swing equation which is a 
differential nonlinear equation solve this swing equation for a particular disturbance take any disturbances from this list and for that condition solve this swing equation okay definitely uh, you have to take uh, help of any of the uh, numerical technique okay so by using any uh, any numerical technique you can solve this nonlinear differential equation okay after you uh, uh, so after solving this swing equation see i'll write here solve swing equation okay so after solving the swing equation a graph is plotted okay a graph of rotor angle versus time this graph is plotted okay now from looking at this graph if suppose if we came, come to know that this rotor angle delta after attaining a maximum value after attaining a maximum value if it decreases if it start decreasing then we can assume that the system will be stable for the large disturbances or else we can say that the system is having a transient stability system will be stable in that case okay if suppose if after attaining the maximum value or else if the rotor angle is not decreasing anywhere after subjected to the large disturbances if the rotor angle continue to change okay if the rate of the rate of change of the rotor angle is continuously increasing then in that case the system will not be stable okay or else we can say that the system will not have transient stability again this large disturbances let us see which are the possible large disturbances the large disturbances can be we may have a switching operation this is the possible cause of the large disturbance switching operation then second one it can be a shunt fault that is symmetrical or unsymmetrical then we may have a series fault that is tripping of the line okay then we may have sudden change in load sudden change in load again we may have a sudden change in mechanical power that is pm these are the some possible causes of the large disturbances okay see change in the load we have already we have also covered in the uh, small disturbances but there the change in the load was gradual here it is the sudden change in the load okay so the, the this is uh, where we can differentiate this okay so now you see that the swing equation what we have is it is this m into d square delta by dt square is equal to this pa okay this pa will be zero under steady state condition okay under steady state condition okay now for this condition the change of the rotor angle rate of change of the rotor angle it will also be zero for the same case under steady state condition okay now if suppose the disturbances has introduced in the system okay after disturbance what will happen this accelerating power will be having a non zero value now okay the rotor will accelerate or decelerate depending upon the type of the disturbance but if it is negative then it will be decelerating if it is positive it is accelerating now as the accelerating power is having a non zero value the rate of change of the rotor angle will also have a non zero value now okay after the disturbances are introduced in the system so now if the disturbance if these disturbances are the small disturbances then we have that uh, uh, criteria to check whether the system will be stable or not but if suppose if these disturbances are the large disturbances then how do we can check okay 
so as said we can take the help of those uh, swing curve let us see how that swing curve uh, helps uh, here okay the swing curve it will be a curve of rotor angle versus time okay here let us suppose that initially the the rotor angle is delta zero till this point till this point the system is stable now after this the system has been introduced with the disturbances let's say the large disturbances are introduced here okay so as said the rotor angle will start changing because of the accelerating power or decelerating power okay let's say the rotor angle has now start increases okay let's say at this point it has attended the maximum value okay let's see this is the dm okay after following the maximum value if suppose if the rotor angle if it start decreasing okay after some cycle this oscillations will damp out okay and it will follow and it will become stable again okay let's say this let us denote this with ds okay stable after the disturbances are been introduced after some cycles the operating point is shifted from delta 0 to delta s but still we can say that the system has regained the stability but the operating point is now shifted from delta naught to delta s here you can see that at this point at this point or from this point onward this rate of uh, that is the rate of change of the rotor angle is becoming zero here at this point no doubt at this point if you check on this curve at any point you will find that rotor angle is changing but if on this swing curve if at any point if this ang uh, rotor change of the rotor angle if it becomes zero then we can say that the system is stable okay another situation we may have say after following the disturbances the system the rotor angle will continue to change it will not decrease here okay so for this curve if you check at any point over this curve the rate of change of the rotor angle will always be non-zero it will always be a non-zero okay if it is the case we can say that the system is unstable or system is not having the transient stability okay now the question arises how to solve the swing equation this one m into d square delta by dt square is equal to pm minus pe sine delta how do how to solve this swing equation we can take the help of numerical method to solve this equation but suppose if we are having a multi machine system then it becomes very difficult even also it will be out of score for the undergraduate student to have to obtain the solution of this nonlinear differential equation for the multi machine system okay so how we can solve it by using some mathematical manipulations okay and by uh, assuming some assumptions okay some justific and some justifiable assumptions uh, with that we can solve this nonlinear differential equation and we can get the criteria for the system to be having transient stability okay and that uh, uh, solution of this swing equation with the help of mathematical manipulation has been covered in a topic called equal area criterion so this equal area criterion will be discussed in the next lecture. Thank you very much.